I'm Stuart Bloor. I'm a test BS in Kidderminster with Des Taylor. Des, we both like our eel fishing. Do. I'm doing eel fishing at the moment. Serious predator baits, method mix, and the ground bait mixer. Talk us through that. Yeah, Julian Chigley, who, who's a, a field tester for us, said that there was a definite need for a predator ground bait and uh, a predator ground bait mixer and a tractor. So we set about it really and um, I've been into ground baiting and uh, for pike and eels for a few years now. Uh, it has been a secret of mine that, um, you know, like any, any fish, if you can attract fish there, you know, to your swim that yeah. you're going to fish, then, you know, you've got a better chance. The one thing I would say to you, even, even if you don't believe that it attracts predators, this is a blood-based, fish and liver flavoured uh, ground bait, and the same thing's run through the, the, the bait, as you see the colour is, is got there by blood, and um, dried blood, it will attract other fish. And not only will it attract predators, but you know yourself, to get predators, you've got to find your other fish. Mm. And in the worst scenario, if some disbeliever thinks this doesn't attract predators, I can assure you it will attract every other fish. Mm. And if every other fish comes into your swim, I guarantee you pike, mm. eels, perch, or whatever will. Mm. Uh, but certainly for pike, uh, if you cut up small lumps of you know, mackerel or herring or sprats or whatever, then to pre-bait with this stuff is a real step in your chances up 50%. Mm -hmm. It really is. The only thing I would say, Stuart, is, is always bait up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Never bait up at the evening. The One of the worst things that happens on any predator water is most people throw the baits in at the end of the night. And the more people that fish it, the more baits get thrown in at the end of the night. They think, oh, I'll throw these in, I'll bait up, whatever. What actually becomes then is a night water because they start seeing fish introduced at half four, five o'clock on a winter's night or, or nine or ten o'clock on a summer's night and they feed through the night. Most predator anglers will fish through the day. So if you're going to bait up, bait up before you get to work rather than after work. Mm. So you get used to them seeing baits in the morning and feeding through the day, not feeding through the night. Mm. That's fantastic, Des, and okay. some great advice there as well for us eel anglers, us predator fishermen. Yeah. I'm now at the water's edge, as you can see from behind me. That short clip we did at SBS Baits in Kidderminster, Des Taylor and myself. A little bit confusing really because I am pike fishing now. Um, it was originally meant to be uh, a little clip about eel fishing but as we got into the uh, into the filming we ended up really talking about pike so I've kept it on because I felt there was some some good stuff in there but anyway that's just in case you're confused eel fishing and I am after pike so I'm at the lake as I say and you can see from behind me of course there's my uh, bucket like you can see in there plenty of uh, crom and dead maggots because I am using ground bait uh, to bring the smaller fish in which in turn course will bring the pike into the area and I've added some ground bait mixer which is specially formulated for predators. About to get the rods out, get the ground bait mix out, I'll also be putting some chopped up fish in there as well. I'm fishing two small perch today, I say two small perch, I'm fishing two rods, one perch on each rod of course and I feel confident. As you've seen there, I'm fishing with uh, floats. You saw one of the floats there on the, on the clip. And angling is exciting anyway, that is without doubt. But for me, there are certain things that, that really stand out that, that, that I really, really enjoy. And one of them is watching a pike float. The fish picks up the dead bait, the float starts to tremble and shake those little tremors on it, it starts to move off across the water and it dips and before you know it you're into, into a fish. Can you hear the, the train there in the background? That's the Seven Valley Railway so that might give you a clue to where I'm fishing although I will mention that in the article anyway. But back to the, uh, back to the float. 
I find it incredibly exciting pike fishing with the float. And hopefully I'll be able to get one of the runs on camera today. fast approaching the end of the session. I haven't had anything at all. I haven't even had any movement on the float other than the wind which has been coming in and uh, knocking the float around in the water. The wind has dropped now as it often does during the uh, evening and the lake's quite, quite still. I was really confident as I said at the start of the video. The only thing that I, I can say is that the wind direction changed today. Previously it had been a southwesterly which is quite warm and today it changed to a northerly wind. That's the only thing that I can say other than the fact that this is fishing. If you want to know how I get on in the other sessions that will um, take place, read the article and the information on that will appear on the screen shortly.